Good morning, I'm Bob Stokes along with Bonnie McLaughlin here on the Weather Channel. Thank you for joining us on this early Thursday morning. We've got some rain here in Atlanta. Of course, there's a big wide country out there to talk about too, Bonnie. <laughs> there certainly is, and we even have some severe weather possibly in Oklahoma. We'll have a, a watch box to take a look at in just a moment. But let's go upstairs and take a look at our current satellite. And here is the vapor loop, and you can really pick out where the frontal system is. This is such a wonderful tool to use in meteorology because uh, the bright white clouds, they show up so beautiful all the morning moisture there and that's where the frontal system is it's situated in this region and anybody that's around that frontal system is experiencing showers and thunderstorms and it's pretty uh, moist out ahead of that system then on the front range of the Rockies good moisture axis there so more showers and thunderstorms are going to be popping up today we had a flare-up of clouds across Mexico and it looks as though Tucson and Phoenix saw some thunder yesterday and they may actually see another round of thunderstorms today and it is going to be a hot day in Phoenix as well. This is the area right here that has prompted the um, severe weather watch in Oklahoma because as you can see there's a pretty good area of thunderstorms moving out of Kansas on into Oklahoma. We'll take a close-up view of that and then certainly plenty of moisture filing in along this frontal system right on up into the northeastern United States. There's an area of low pressure with the cold front extending southward from it and here's the warm front and the moisture is moving up and over that warm front so it is going to be a nasty day in the Northeast. Showers off and on for the most part. You can see lots of clouds at this time. And there is also some fog showing up. Uh, Mount Washington, totally obscured right now. Visibility, zero. It's raining out at Boston. And it is also raining around Islip, New York. There's the frontal system, patchy areas of fog, plenty of moisture on tap here. It's just going to be a rather nasty day. Here's a look at the latest radar. There was rain that was moving across Buffalo, and you can see these are rather slow-moving areas of rain, so it is going to be uh, a problem with some heavy downpours. In fact, out at Southampton on Long Island, they experienced one to two feet of rain yesterday, and that caused extensive street flooding. More rain as you head across Boston, and you can see, just follow the frontal system. Baltimore, you're getting it this morning. D.C. is. This area may actually pick up an inch or so of rainfall because, again, this is a slow-moving system, and that frontal system is really going to be in your neck of the woods for the day. 60 degrees right now in Caribou, 60 also in Erie, Pennsylvania, Washington, D.C. 72 degrees for you. The southeast, Birmingham, 73, raining for you. Dallas, 76. Tampa Bay coming in at 78 degrees. Here's the frontal system. Some drying trying to work its way in behind that system. It's raining in Atlanta right now, and it looks as though that rain will persist through the morning. But I guess the best news is that as this frontal system presses on southward, it will decrease the possibility for rain in the metro area, which is good news since the Olympics are still going on full force. Here's a look at the radar. A little cluster of thunderstorms there around Birmingham. And this moisture, it's moving slowly towards the east, and you can see the metro area getting it right now. But again, all that may change as the afternoon wears on in that frontal system if it can just make its way far enough to the south. This is rather impressive. A very continuous line of thunderstorms moving out of Kansas into the Oklahoma panhandle. And that is what has prompted the severe thunderstorm watch. We're going to have to watch out there because this is an area today that is favorable for possibly developing isolated tornadoes. This particular box is in effect through the early morning hours until about 8 a.m. local time. As for the north central United States, well, let's take a look at those temperatures one more time. As I put that in there twice, let's skip that. There we go. 57 degrees right now in Duluth. In Rapid City, South Dakota, 57 for you. St. Louis, you're waking up to 65 degrees. And in Chicago, it is 58 degrees. And here's a look at the satellite view. Trying to get some of that dry air working in here, but unfortunately the moisture is flowing freely up the front range of the Rockies, so you're going to have to deal with that today and with that possibility for some thunderstorms. And we're going to take a look. There's the ridge of high pressure. Some areas reporting some fog right now. Detroit, Michigan reporting fog. And you can also see scattered areas of showers and light to moderate at this time. Thunderstorms are still going to be a possibility throughout this region today. Now we're going to take a look at the forecast. And Bob has a look at what's coming up for today and uh, a little bit into the future as well.
That's right, Bonnie. Thank, Thank you. you. Currently, we do see on this good... As they are quite active right now in the central section of the United States. In fact, let's just zero in on that region. You are looking at the Oklahoma Panhandle, and this is quite an impressive line of thunderstorms moving through. Ellis County is right there, and they did have a severe thunderstorm warning. They have allowed it to expire. There was a severe thunderstorm that was reported around Catsby earlier. That warning has expired, but as you can see, that line of thunderstorms is still very impressive. And because this is one of those areas today that will be favorable for thunderstorm development and even the possibilities for isolated thunder or isolated tornadoes to develop. A severe thunderstorm watch has been posted for portions of the Texas and Oklahoma panhandles until 8 a.m. local time. Other radar stops will take us into the southeastern United States. If you're traveling from Birmingham to Atlanta, it looks as though you're going to have a wet ride this morning on Interstate 20, and there is more rainage ahead into the mid-Atlantic region. There is a frontal system here that just will not give up. So it is raining at Baltimore. It's raining around Washington, D.C. The rain is headed towards Philadelphia. Boston right now is pretty well getting soaked. So let's take a look at where the rainy travel is going to be for today. Scattered throughout the Plains states, scattered throughout the front range of the Rockies, also down and out ahead of that frontal system. And even in the northeastern United States, as the overrunning continues, as that moisture moves up and over the warm front. As for the thunderstorms, the northeast, lots of clouds, that'll hold down the chance for thunderstorms. But still, we might see some isolated storms popping up in the Gulf Coast region. The severe weather, most likely, right through the Plain states from Texas and Oklahoma all the way up into South Dakota. The Weather Channel. No place on Earth has better weather. This five-day business planner is sponsored by Kelly Services, the first name in staffing for 50 years. It's 20 after the hour, and that mean it means it's time for the five-day planner. Thank you for joining us. We'll begin with the radar, and you can see that... frontal system is. This is a sluggish system, and it is hanging down the southeastern United States. So that's going to be an area to watch out for, for shower and thunderstorm development. The interior, you're going to have to watch out in the high plains. The northeast is not going to be very conducive for outdoor activities today, but the west is looking pretty good. Let's break it down piece by piece. As for the Great Lakes region, there's a look at your water temperatures, 50s, 60s, and 70s. As for the winds, 5 to 15 miles per hour, but with that frontal system, it looks like around Nantucket and Martha's Vineyard, you're going to have winds in the 15 to 25 mile per hour category. The water temperatures are very pleasant in the 70s and the 80s, and the winds generally five to 15, but with that onshore flow, it still looks as though the south coast of Texas is going to have to deal with winds anywhere from 15 to 25 miles per hour. You're looking at some fairly brisk winds, 15 to 25 miles per hour along the west coast with water temperatures in the 50s and 60s. The plains looks, looks rough, at least the southern plains, if I can play jump rope with my wire here, but it looks like some Afternoon hours, again with the moisture flowing up uh, out in front of the front range of the Rockies and into the Plain states, scattered showers and thunderstorms are going to pop up. They're going to be a little bit more widespread as you head to the south of that frontal system. Well, here it is. Just uh, part by part, Detroit, not a bad day for you. Pittsburgh, not a d bad day for you. But Boston, Caribou, Maine, back into New York City. It's going to be a little bit on the unsettled side. Maybe some hefty rainfall amounts coming in later on today, anywhere from a tenth to an inch of rainfall. However, it's this mid-Atlantic region that you're going to have to watch out for. Maybe more than an inch of rainfall there because all the ingredients are coming together perfectly to produce heavy rains. Temperatures cooler than they should be, 60s and 70s. So even though you have some unsettled weather, at least it's going to be comfortable temperature wise. Showers and thunderstorms are going to be scattered to the south of that frontal system. Now to the north of the frontal system with some drying. Nashville should have a pleasant day today. Could be some rough weather over Florida once again today. As for the rainfall amounts, again, locally up to an inch of rainfall in some locales. Mid-Atlantic region looks like a favorite area to get hard hit today. And then as disturbances continue to move through Texas and Oklahoma, those thunderstorms could also prove to produce up to an inch of rainfall. Another hot one for Texas, Oklahoma, temperatures in the 90s and the 100s. But in the cloud cover and the rain-cooled air, temperatures only in the 80s. And you can see for the Appalachians, temperatures not getting out of the 70s. Another hot day as you head into Florida with temperatures in the 90s. 
warmth. And it's that heat and humidity that is the perfect combination to produce the strong to severe thunderstorms. Now, for the most part, the Great Lakes region looking pretty good today. So, Chicago, you'll enjoy a nice day today, as will Minneapolis and even Madison, Wisconsin. But again, with that moisture flowing up into the high plains, you're looking at the possibility for some isolated thunderstorms to pop up as well as scattered showers. So, just keep the umbrella handy. You may, you may not need it, but just keep it nearby. As for the rainfall amounts, again, with that disturbance, the heavier amounts are going to be in the central to southern plains. And for those temperatures, you are looking at 70s and 80s behind that frontal system, 90s working their way all the way up into eastern Montana and the western section of the Dakotas. Just ahead, we're going to be going across at the Atlantic to the International.